माय डियर व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल पैसोनेट टुडे इन दिस एपिसोड आई सल डिस्कस अबाउट रिलेज यूज्ड इन इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम एन अपील टू यू माय डियर व्यूअर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड डू लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट ऑन दिस वीडियो now please watch what is a relay used in electrical system simply a relay is an electrically operated switch or electronics device that receives signals from outside sources to open and close circuits here i shall discuss about two different types of relay control relay and protection relay both protection relays and control relays plays important roles in electrical system but they serve very different purpose what is a control relay control relays switch electrical loads off and on based on input signals allowing low power circuits to activate limit switch proximity switch optical sensor motors and more their primary functions are signal amplification through contact multiplication and overload protection for delicate switching popular example including starter timer latching etc what is protection relay protection relays protect electrical system and equipment from excessive currents voltage temperature frequencies etc they continuously monitor system conditions and control circuit breakers or send tripping signals when thresholds are exceeded common types including over current or fault differential protection distance protection transformer protection generator protection and feeder protection relays etc a relay is an electromechanical or electronic device that acts as a switch to control the flow of electrical current in low to medium power applications it consists of coil a coil contacts and an enclosure when the coil is energized it generates a magnetic field that attracts the contacts either closing or opening the circuit depending on the relay's configuration In this animated picture we shall watch how a relay operates to make ANC contacts when energized by outside source
control relays can be designed to be normally opened you know and normally closed and see a coil of wire wrapped around a laminated core provides the magnetic field necessary to actuate the switch mechanism energized by either ac or dc voltage this electromagnet coils actuating influence on the relay contact is represented by dotted lines a single pole single thread relay with a normal closed nc normally open no switch contact represented here for normally open relays the main circuit is open when the control circuit is not energized the main circuit closes when the control circuit is powered for normally closed relays the main circuit is closed when the control circuit is not energized the main circuit opens when the control circuit is powered to know the characteristics of a relay we have to know what is pole and what is through in relay in a relay the pole is the main connection point at where every connection occurs and through is the function of a relay by which a pole is become connected with another point of connections now we shall discuss about pole and throw of some relays single pole single throw relays spst relay a relay with one pole and one throw is referred to as a single pole single throw spst it means a single switch that can be turned on or off in the electrical control we could have labeled the spst relay contacts as form a for normally open and form b for normally closed now single pole double throw relay spdt relay a relay with one pole and two throw is called single pole double throw spdt it means the pole can connect two separate points one normally open you know and one normally closed nc this design known as a form c contact of switch provides both a normally open and normally closed contact set in one unit actuated by the single electromagnet coil double pole double throw relay dpdt relay a relay with two poles and two throws is known as double pole double throw dpdt it means it has two switches each with two choices this design of switch provides two sets of form c contacts in one unit simultaneously actuated by the single electromagnet coil two common types of control relays are the so called octal relay and the ice cube relay both but both are ice cube relay these relays plug into multi pin base sockets contained in a clear plastic cases allowing inspection of working elements 
A DPDT octal relay is shown in the photograph. Please watch the pictures of ice cube relays with their configurations. A protection relay works by continuously monitoring electrical parameters like voltage and current in a power system and when these parameters deviate significantly from normal ranges, it issues a signal to trip a circuit breaker to effectively isolate the faulty section of the circuit and prevent further damage to the system. In the picture at the left hand side, suppose we have a transmission line protected with CT circuit breaker and relay. Once a short circuit at point F on the said line occurs, then the flow of current within the transmission line will increase to an enormous value. So, this causes the flow of heavy current through the city as well as throughout the relay coil and makes the protective relay act by simply closing its contact. Consequently, it closes the tip circuit of the circuit breaker and makes the circuit breaker open and separating the faulty portion of the system. So, in this way, the protective relay protect the healthy system from faulty part. I do not want to make this video a lengthy one considering your patience. So, this was the subject of today's discussion. Thank you.